Okay, so we were talking about before like music, like mm -hmm. maybe music from your childhood or like, not even music, but like songs or, or songs that have been written, like maybe it'll come on. I know for me, <coughs> like even recently, but even throughout my childhood, the song would come on, whatever, whatever, whether it was like an oldie or maybe like a worship song or just anything. And it yeah. just kind of like, kind of touched me emotionally. Mm -hmm. Is there any songs like that that do that for you? Just kind of like... There's songs, yeah, there's, 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 um, I mean, when you hit me up on the spot like that, it's like, yeah. oh man, now I can't think of what songs do that to me. But there's a ton of songs, you know what I mean, that, that as soon as I hear like the first note, you know what I mean, it'll bring back... You know, of course, like the childhood is always like that because that's that moment of innocence. You know what I mean? You don't, you don't have no responsibility. You don't have, you know, to deal with, you know, the pressures of life. And, and uh, um, you know, one of the songs that really, you know, gets me going and brings a tear to my eyes all the time is Hell's Bells. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, no, there's actually, there's actually a, <laughs> that was good. there's actually a few uh, uh, Phil Keggy songs that, that bring me back to that place and I didn't even understand at the time when I was a kid but I seen that my you know my dad listened to him and there were things there were songs that um like encouraged him you know spiritually and you know and emotionally and, and at the same time that you know those songs were, were impacting his life they were impacting mine too even at a young age just watching him be touched by songs like that and um there's a ton of other songs you know not necessarily Christian songs but you know just songs that'll relate you know like you said you know what I mean just yeah, some childhood yeah. stuff and, I wish I had more time I'd remember them, but yeah, they're yeah. out there, a ton of them. Yeah, just even like some of the oldies or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just anything, just... Oh, yeah, there's songs that make me, you know, you know, remind me of my grandmother and, you know, yeah. you know, or my mom or my dad or, you know, just... Yeah, exactly. Or or bring me back to a time when, you know, my family was struggling and I remember I yeah. remember having that feeling, you know what I mean? that would be some old rock songs, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, music's a powerful thing, man. It stirs exactly. up all the emotions that, you know, other things can't really do. And now I'm going to put this on you. I know it's not really fair, but in that kind of, like, subject we're talking about, any of your guys' songs, maybe even something off of this Greatest Hits that's coming out, anything that's kind of, like, hit you. I know for me, the other day, I brought up Satellite. Mm -hmm. I was actually at the gym, and Satellite came on. And it did the same thing. It just kind of touched me emotionally. And there's a lot of the fans that mm -hmm. say the same type of thing about your guys' songs. <coughs> You know, um, I was, um, like, when I was working on my skate shop, like, you know, last year, um, I was in, I was in, we weren't touring, and I was, like, in there, like, tearing down the walls and painting with my brother and on. We would stay there till late at night, and, and um, you know, we play music, and, and one of the guys that was there brought in, like, the live um, P.O.D. Uh, record, and, I dude, it was, honestly, it was years, because I don't really, we don't really play, I mean, we play this stuff live so much, we don't really, like, go back and, like, pop the disc in, you know what I mean, and listen to it, because we're, we, we hear it so much, but um, when I heard, like, the live show, like, in context, you know what I mean, those kind of things, to me, um, even being in the band, like, just hearing it from the outside, you know, I could see, like, you know, how powerful, you know, God is, and, and <clears throat> not that we're doing anything special or anything like that, but um, I could just see it from the outside, and it's like, that, to me, that's, you know, that's when I feel it in our music, and, and yeah, man, I'll, I'll go back and I'll, you know, I'll play like satellite records or fundamental, and I'll be like, dude, that was <clears throat> cool. Even though you know you're in the band and you're, and you're like, you know, you play the songs and you, you write the songs with everybody and you're a part of it, it's still like you know something that that never gets played out. You know what I mean? And, and the message is, is is powerful. You know what I mean? In, cer yeah. in certain songs, to me, yeah. um, you know, like say la and, and, and yeah. you know, full color and all those kind of songs. To me, those those songs like. You know, like yeah. I'll don't even bring a tear to my eyes. It's like, damn, yeah. man, that's, oh, I'm glad exactly. I was a part of that song. Just exactly. being a part of it was cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying to me, and 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 that's cool if you're in a, in a band that you can look back and yeah. feel that way yeah. still. You know, after yeah. 15 years, I I love that feeling. That's, that's what keeps us going. Yeah. But even with that, like you brought up Selah, mm -hmm. and I don't know about most of the fans, but I know at least with me when I'm reading like Psalms, mm -hmm. and so there's a pause mm -hmm. and Selah is there. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to make this trivia at all, but it, it brings me back to that. You know, you guys, I guess it puts into context what you guys wrote in that yeah. song. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's, um, that speaks of a time of, you know, POD or in our lives. That, um, <clears throat> like, you know, that's, that's, that's what God was, that, that's what he had for us then. You know what I mean? And that's, 
you know, the hunger and the things that we needed to, to um, hear and be encouraged by it with, with, with touring and with fans and interacting with other Christians that would, um, you know, build our faith and, and make it what it is today. And that's, you know, that time. And I look back and sometimes I'm like, man, how come <clears throat> we can't we can't um, dig deep and, and, and grab some of those songs? And we're, well, you know what, let's like, we've covered those bases. And how many times can you really cover those bases, you know what I mean? Even though you still want to be able to do that, you want them to be effective. You want the songs to be effective. And so the only way you could do that is just by talking about where you're at now. You exactly. Know what I mean? and, that, and that time of our lives, you know, we're young and we're aggressive and we're hungry and we're, like, searching and seeking for answers. and You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and that's why those, those songs are special to me, you know what I mean, for that time. Yeah. And I've always, I've always loved the older stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? To me, that's, like, that's the root of what POD is. And I always yeah, will be. yeah. <clears throat> Definitely. Well, I'm just going to, now that I got you on camera, I'm just going to, tell you this and I think I'm going to tell you this from a lot of the fans is that through your guys' music you guys have touched and affected a lot of people's lives and I'm not just saying this for any interview aspect <laughs> but uh, you guys have truly and God's used you guys and I think a lot of people think you got to be of a certain caliber for God to use you mm. and that's not it we're just like mere men and God uses us how, well, does, the truth. how does that how does that feel to you you know what I mean I know it's a lot to soak in, and I hate to, like, drop that on you right now, but... No, it's, um, you know, the easy answer is to say it's, you know, it's humbling, and, and it, it is, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I know my faults. Nobody else knows my yeah. faults, you know what I mean? And like you said, like, you are just a mere man here, and you are, you know, struggling through life and, you know, going through the ups and downs, and at the same time, to be a part of, you know, P.O.D., the... You know, the entity or whatever, not the indi- you know, not exactly. the individuals. <clears throat> um, it's just a testament to how how you know how God can use some real jacked up dudes. You know what I'm saying? People that ain't perfect and guys that um, that don't do everything right. And you know, never have we said that we were that kind of people. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, you know, how God will still bless and use you if you're if you have the unity. Yeah. I mean, and the belief to do it, and and you're united in that way, and you want to tell people about the things that have unified unified you that way. It's yeah. like it's unstoppable, and it's and it's um it's just only a, a testament to how you know how yeah. powerful God how God is. And, and I hear stories all the time, and we get letters, and you know it blows my I mean it, it blows my mind. You know it's like you don't know. There's there's no way that you can possibly know. You know what's going on outside of the band and how you know the music touches people and how you know in the corners of the world you know somebody's listening to the lyrics or you know whatever they you know they're getting hyped on the music or whatever you, you just don't know yeah that's 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 what's so powerful about music and i'm glad and I'm, and I'm, you know honored that i get to be a part of this band you know and you know it's just a blessing i thank god for it every day for sure